and heading down the road to the Mawata Armory. That's where Jill's hanging out this morning. Jill? Yes, hanging out with the G-Wagon here and with Sergeant Wheatman and Corporal Baker. Great to see you guys. Uh, take us on a tour of this vehicle here. So let's talk a little bit about the G-Wagon and what is the purpose of this vehicle, Sergeant? Uh, the G-Wagon, is uh, its main purpose is for, in our unit is for light reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. um, that's the role which we go out and determine information about the enemy, the ground, obstacles, routes, and then we pass that on to hire okay. so they can make their plans. Okay, so obvi obviously uh, this is got a lot of armor it has an, a lot of additional bells and whistles uh, yeah it's different than the civilian pattern g-wagon that you can buy uh, these ones here this isn't an armored version but they do make an armored version that we had used overseas mm -hmm. uh, this one here is heavy duty though if you look at the axles and the configuration of the suspension components and things like that this is all heavy duty stuff you can't even buy most of these components okay so let's talk about the interior here corporal and tell us what we would see inside this vehicle all right, so probably a main feature that you notice is the radios in there. Mm -hmm. This G-Wagon in particular is, uh, has dual bank comms, so it has one radio to communicate with the squadron while you're out on doing your recce, mm -hmm. and it also has one radio that they use to communicate with command. Mm -hmm. So you're passing the information that you gather onto command using these radios. Okay. And then the typical just vehicle bells and whistles in there with the uh, different differentials and... Right. Okay, let's, uh, let's do a little walk around here. Uh, obviously, we have the driver's seat, the passenger seat, and then, Sergeant, who would be uh, taking the back seat in this vehicle? Uh, that's the, the gunner usually, uh, uh, or observer, sits in that position, and their job is to operate the, the, the weapon system, also to help out on the radios and to, to observe for uh, the enemy. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so let's take a walk around here, and Caitlin, you're going to be driving here, I think. Okay, so Caitlin's going to hop in the driver's seat here, and I'm going to hop in the back, and we'll take a look. Now, in terms of weaponry, what are we using if I'm in the observation deck? Okay, that is a C6 machine gun up there. Uh, it's the, the world's best medium machine gun. It's, uh, it's a very effective weapon up to, uh, depending on the conditions, 1,000 meters or plus. And uh, we use it mainly in a defensive role because our job being reconnaissance, it's not necessarily to go out and pick fights with people, but to determine their location. And if we have to, we can use that to get ourselves out of trouble. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to hop in, and Caitlin, you're going to take this for a spin, corporal rather, I should say. Close the doors up. All right. And just about ready to go? Yeah. We're ready to go. All right. Still up. Uh, we're going to meet some field engineers. I'm going to get a bomb suit on, and Whoa. that's happening in the next segment. All right. I'm hanging on. We're ready Hang to roll. On. Tara. And off she goes. 